Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to create a passkey on Xbox One. Uh, my six-year-old kid uh, was playing some Roblox and he purchased some Robux twice um, without my permission. And uh, I thought I set up a passkey, a password for purchases, but I must have not set it up correctly. So I'm going to show you how to set up a create a pass key on Xbox One so you don't bump into that problem when you're doing your checkbook. So the first thing you want to do, let's start here, is log into your Xbox One account, the one you want to set the pass key up on. So first thing you do is going to go up to this one right here to the left. You want to hit press to sign in. So select it. And then you want to select the account you're logging into. And I just selected the top one, which is the one I want to use. And then once you're signed in, you're going to go up to the top left again where your um, name is and select that menu. And then when that menu appears, you want to move all the way over to the gear icon at the very end. And then when you're on the gear icon, you're on the system, and then you want to go down to the second option, which is settings. And we're going to select settings. And now that we're on here, on the left menu, you're going to see personalized network and account. The account at the top is where we want to be. Select that. And then select sign in, security, and pass key. And once we sign in there, um, it looks like Microsoft might ask us, yes, they're going to ask us to sign into our Microsoft account. Um, since they own the Xbox, you got to do what they say. So go ahead and put your password in for your Microsoft account. And I'll do it as quick as I can. Uh, it's never easy when you have to go to each one. I need a keypad on this thing. Um, so I'm going to put my password in, put your password in while we're doing this. It'll take me just a minute here, and we'll be there in any minute, I swear. Now, the last part of my password, which I'm blurring so you can't see it because I don't want you logging into my account. <laughs> so once we do that, uh, now we're in the, the right screen now. And the next one you want to choose is change my sign-in and security preferences right down to the left side there. Once you're in here, go to ask for my passkey. This will ask your passkey for like sign-ins, um, settings, or even purchases. That's what we want. So we want to create it right here. So select that. And then once you select that, um, now you, that gives you a nice little um, what key to hit on your controller to make it a one, two. So just do that. Create a six-digit passkey. They don't let you create longer. They don't let you create shorter. You'll have to enter it twice, and then we'll do that here. We'll make our password really hard for my kid to remember. If he ever gets it from me, I'll have to change it again. <laughs> and now we have created our pass key, but there's one more step we want to make sure we do, which I forgot last time. Go back into change my sign in and security preferences again, since that's where we need to go. So we're going to select that again, and then at the very far right, you're going to go all the way over to hit customize and click on cust or select customize. And then when you're in customize, go all the way to the end. And the last one is ask for my passkey to make purchases. We want to make sure this says passkey required. So you can click on it and it says passkey not required. We want to make sure it says passkey required for the purchases part. And that's important. They have it for settings also, passkeys for change settings, passkeys for signing in. Um, I want the passkey for my settings and for my purchases, but I don't really want my kids bugging me all the time to sign into the Xbox. So I'm going to change this one to passkey not required. And that's all you have to do. That's how you create a pass key on your Xbox One. That way you can not have any surprises when you're doing your checkbook. Make sure to go to davescomputertips.com. That's where all of our articles are. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel and tell all your friends about it. And thanks for watching.